All right, yeah! Thank God for fantasy football. I'm Buster Brown on the show. It's called Redemption Rehab. Today, we're looking at the waiver wire for week six in the NFL. We got bye weeks coming up this week for Pittsburgh and Green Bay. Running backs are dropping like flies because of injury in the NFL. But we've got solutions for you here at Fantasy Football Redemption Rehab. So let's head over to the chalkboard and check out the facts. Okay, over the weeks, we've given you some great players at running back. And last week, we told you in week five about Jaleel McLaughlin for Denver. Javante Williams got hurt, and this is the guy that came in. Well, I'll tell you what, there's some injuries out there. The Bears have issues. Uh, Khalil Herbert might be hurt. Rashawn Johnson might have a concussion. We got some solutions. We're going to help you with that. We told you about, we're going to talk about maybe Arizona. Arizona, James Conner. Hey, man, he's got another knee injury. We knew this was coming. And here we are. We got to figure out what's going on with James Conner down there in Arizona. And I'll tell you what, there are other guys we got to talk about, starting with this guy. Amari D. Mercado. He's a rookie out of TCU. He backed up Kendra Miller for the New Orleans Saints running back when they played at TCU together. And I'll tell you what, this guy lit it up last week. He didn't play the whole game, but when he did, he had 10 rushes for 45 yards and one TD. And he caught a pass for 12 yards on three targets. This is the depth chart for the Arizona Cardinals. I'll tell you what, you can see right here, James Conner. He might not play this week. He's got another knee injury chronic type stuff his backup is Keontae Ingram he's got a neck injury who knows what's going to happen there I mean if it was serious they probably would have put him on IR but they didn't so don't be surprised if Keontae Ingram gets some playing time but we're talking about Amari DiMicardo I got to be very careful here a lot of people are going to spend a bunch of money on here I'm not sure so sure you should look here Tony Jones they just signed him this week. I don't expect him to play, but Tony Jones could steal some goal line carries. And if Keontae Ingram comes back, uh, he might be the better running back. So be very careful with this, this waiver wire pickup. If you take him, it's because you're desperate. Otherwise, I'd avoid this situation. Let's take a look at the Chicago Bears situation, which is just as important. Okay, here we are taking a look at the Chicago Bears depth chart. Why? Because Khalil Herbert sprained his anchor, ankle against the Washington Commanders. Might not play this week. Keep an eye on him. If he does play, that changes everything. Then you got Rashawn Johnson. He's a rookie out of Texas. He backed up Bijan Robinson, but he's a good player. We talked about him in our NFL Draft preview show. When you get a chance, check it out because we give you all the stats and statistics on guys like Roshan Johnson at Fantasy Football Redemption Rehab. So when you get a chance, check those shows out. And then you got Travis Homer as the another backup from Seattle. I got to tell you right now, man, these guys are all banged up. And the only guys you have left is Deontay Foreman. If you get a chance and, and, and you see that he's going to be available in your league, you should go out and pick him up. Why? He's a good running back. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. He can block for the quarterback on blitzes. And guess what? He can run the ball. If you get a chance, go out and pick up Deontay Foreman. Put him in your lineup. Let's go check out some other guys you know about. Okay, here we are taking a look at the Miami Dolphins depth chart. Over here, Devon H. On Man, what a rookie. We talked about him in our NFL Draft preview show. At, at, and, and we told you this guy was going to be a player. He's a little undersized. But you know what? He's been tearing it up. And he's got a knee injury. The Dolphins will protect him. Who... Because they've got guys like Raheem Mostert. Raheem Mostert's having a great year. If you drafted him, kudos out to you. He's going to he's gonna be the starting running back this week with H on out. And then you got Salvon Amon. I'll tell you what, this kid can play too. So you got one, you got two, and you can't forget about the guy you better focus on because you can get him cheap is Jeff Wilson. Jeff Wilson used to play for the 49ers. Now he's in Miami. He's been on an IR all season long, he has a rib injury. Go out and get yourself some Jeff Wilson and maybe plug him into your lineup in an emergency situation. 
Let's go take out some. Let's go check out some wide receivers we like for week six of the NFL, <laughs> including this guy, Trenton Irwin of the Cincinnati Bengals. He's only playing because T. Higgins is out with a rib injury. He gets eight catches for 60 yards on 10 targets, and they play Seattle next week. Uh, Seattle gives up a ton of points to a ton of ton of good offense. So Trent Nerwin is a guy I'd be going out and picking up and possibly, if T. Higgins is out, putting him in your lineup. I'll tell you what, another guy because of injury you need to know about is this guy. K.J. Osborne of the Minnesota Vikings with Justin Jefferson out with a hamstring injury. K.J. Osborne caught five passes for 49 yards and they play the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears have been giving up a lot of points to a lot of good teams this year i mean look what denver did look what washington did their quarterbacks lit it up other guys that we like josh downs he plays the jacksonville jaguars he caught six passes for 97 yards on six targets who else do we like this week how about curtis samuel of the, of the washington commanders last week against chicago he had six catches for 65 yards and a td on seven targets who else do we like how about Rasheed Rice for the Kansas City Chiefs? Man, he was four catches for 33 yards and another TD on this season on five targets. We talked about this kid in our NFL Draft preview show that we do every year on Fantasy Football Redemption Rehab. I'll tell you what, when you get a chance, check out that show. We'll tell you all the stats and statistics on Rasheed Rice and why you should have him in your lineup this week for the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's go check out some tight ends we like for week six of the NFL waiver wire report. Look, with bye weeks coming up and injuries taking out players week after week, you got to have guys on your bench that can help you. And one of the guys is this guy. How about Logan Thomas for the Washington Commanders? Look what he did against Chicago. He had nine catches for 77 yards and a touchdown on 11 targets. Look, Logan Thomas has been hurt most of his career, but when he does play, he has has a game like this everybody else goes out and picks him up and then he gets hurt again so be careful with this guy's a waiver wire addition we also like dalton schultz he plays against new orleans this week last week he had seven catches for 65 yards and a touchdown on 10 targets i i think maybe dalton schultz probably isn't on your waiver wire if he is i'd go out there put him in your lineup because Houston likes to throw the ball because they're struggling with their offensive line protection and running the ball. So being every game, they're going to have to throw the ball. Dalton Schultz is a big part of that game. And we've been telling you for weeks now to go out and get yourself some Tyler Conklin for the New York Jets. I mean, the quarterback for the Jets isn't very good, but he is dumping the ball off to the tight end every chance he gets. And Tyler Conklin is getting, you know, half a dozen targets every game. So he's worth picking up. And... We like Dawson Knox this week. Dalton Kincaid has a concussion. He's unlikely to play this week if he doesn't pass concussion protocol. Look what Dawson Knox has done this year. And I'll tell you what, what I saw on Monday Night Football, Michael Myers of the Las Vegas Raiders. I'll tell you what, man, this kid could be coming on. We talked about him in our NFL Draft Preview show. We, we keep harping on this. You could go watch these shows on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and, and I'll tell you what, Fantasy Football Redemption Rehab will give you the stats and statistics on players like Michael Meyer and why we like him. Don't be surprised if this guy starts to have a breakout campaign. Hey, if you need a quarterback this week, we've been talking about players like Anthony Richardson getting hurt. He sprained his AC joint. Gardner Mitchell's coming in. He's going back home against Jacksonville, the team that he played for for years in a revenge game. Don't be surprised if Gardner Minshew has a good game against his former teammate. And how about Tyrod Taylor, New York Giants? Daniel Jones got hurt last week. He's got a neck injury, kind of concussion type thing. Not sure he's going to play this week. He'll want to, but the Giants should hold him out putting Tyrod Taylor in a revenge game against his old team the Buffalo Bills and how about Baker Mayfield we've been talking about him for weeks now he's playing at home against the Detroit Lions so don't be surprised if he has a good game and I'll tell you what another game is how about we've been talking about Sam Howe for weeks now he plays Atlanta he scored 30 points in fantasy football against the Chicago Bears don't be surprised if he goes out and has a good game. Maybe you need a kicker. I mean, some leagues 
got rid of kickers, but Kyan Fairbond down in Houston was 4 of 4 with a long of 40 yards. And I'll tell you what, he kicks in a dome. He's playing in a dome this week against New Orleans. He's 15 of 16 kicks in 2023, and he's a very good field goal kicker. So if you need a kicker and, and your league still has kickers, go get yourself this guy and plug him into your lineup. And don't be surprised if he gets you 10, 15 points like he did last week. And if you want a good defense, I'll tell you what. Last week, we talked about Washington. They didn't do very well. Miami would have been a better pick. So we like Miami again this week. They've got a great matchup. Last week, they played the New York Giants. This week, they play Carolina Panthers. So don't be surprised if Miami tears up the rookie quarterback, Bryce Young, and the poor offensive line play down there in Carolina and scores you a few points. Well, that's it for week six of the NFL Weekly Waiver Wire Report. I'm Buster Brown. The show is called Redemption Rehab. Good luck.